Hello everyone. Lately I have really been looking into the five year journals. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on them and kind of pulling them up on different websites where I could actually purchase one. I've looked into the Midori version. I've looked into the Lush Term version. I think there's, I'm not exactly sure, there's one called One Line a Day. I'm not sure what brand it was. But um, I have been wanting to start a five-year journal. And also doing research and looking into them, I noticed that they all start at at least at the least like thirty five dollars so which to say it's a journal that you're going to use for five years it's almost it it kind of covers the cost of itself but right now i really don't want to pay thirty five dollars for another journal and it doesn't really have some of them don't really have all of the features that I would like in a five year, in my five year journal. So I kind of thought that I should go through the stacks of notebooks I have already and I could probably create my own five year journal. And I'm going to base it off of, I love these Life Noble, um, no notebooks but in i kind of consider using these for to in order to do it but i think i prefer sticking with the fact that i use these as planners but i'm kind of i'm going to go off of the idea that i have with my planners in order to create the five-year notebook. I like the fact that these have grid lines to them. And looking through all of the five-year notebooks, they all are sectioned, but inside of each section is just blank. There's no grid, there's no lines to them or anything like that. So, um, another thing with the life notebooks, I think I prefer using these the way I'm using them. I use these as my planners. I create planners out of them and I use them for journaling. So I decided I would rather stick to those just the way I'm using them. And my other option was using my, let's see, let's see if I have them all here. I think I have one more that I need to go get. One second. So my other option was I decided to pull out all of my Nanami paper notebooks. I love the Tomo River paper. I love the fact that the Tomo River notebooks has so many pages in them. So by them having 480 pages in it, I assume that this would be the perfect notebook to use. So of course I did run into dilemmas wanting to use this notebook because the one I want to use I want I would like to use a black one let's see okay so the black writer notebook when I first purchased it it had this awesome heavy-duty canvas cover to it and I prefer this cover that's basically the same cover as this one that um but this one has blank pages this is the writer this is the standard 
The reason I don't want to use the standard is because of the olive green cover color. If I if I'm gonna make a five year journal and carry it around for so long, I would prefer it to be a black cover. So this is my older um version of the writer and this one was a later version of the writer i'm not sure how the notebooks look now because i have not placed an order for them in years but showing the difference i don't know if you can see the difference the cover of this one is a little different it's a little more flimsy and i was not excited about it another thing about these i i can't remember if they had grid paper but i know they had the dotted paper which also would have been a nice option but i never ordered the dotted paper because i think the dotted notebooks are white paper and i prefer the cream colored pages that are um or tone color pages that are in these this notebook reminds me more of the cover of i just keep my stylogy in the the cover for this notebook because i normally keep this notebook when i'm carrying it around inside of my Sheik Sparrow cover. So, in comparison, it's not exactly the same, but this notebook cover kind of reminds me of the Stology notebook. The flimsiness is almost the same, and I'm not, I was never really crazy about the cover of the Stology notebook i love if you can see i started this notebook almost 10 years ago i started this notebook in 20 i mean yeah 2014 almost 10 years ago and this is the wear of a notebook that is has been used for nearly 10 years off and on and another goal that i have for this notebook is in 2024 i want to get here and just finish this notebook instead of just writing in it at random because i write in so many different notebooks i'll jump to this one because i feel like writing in this one i'll jump to a different one because i feel like writing in that one so for 2024 i want to get get there and just complete this one as like my journal and collection notebook so again in um explaining my plans with this the stylogy and the um the newer version of the seven seas writer kind of resemble in cover in in the cover so that's why i was not too excited about using this one i really wish that i could have i would have thought to order another one when they were made like this and i almost thought to just use this one as my five-year journal but i started this one out as like a kind of a spiritual notebook and um spiritual gratitude and I, I want to leave it just like it is and i'm just going to keep going with this one just as it is so my decision has come to i will just go ahead on and use this and this is just other versions of the standard i have two more versions of the standard i'll show you a what a new standard notebook looks like in comparison to one that has been broken in. So this also, the cover is a little different on this one, but it is, 
still something that I prefer. Let's see what the older one. Okay. I'm making a mess of this. Hold on one second to fix this. Okay. So you can see that the covers are slightly different, but I still prefer the feel of this. It does not have this. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a um it's not canvas, but if you have a stylology you notebook, know, you kind of know what I'm talking about. And hopefully this notebook will wear in. The cover will wear in over the years pretty well. But I just did not want to use an olive green cover colored notebook for my five year journal. I will I would rather just keep these as regular journals. So my plan to start my five-year notebook is it will I will take these are it has 27 lines on it. So I will have to skip the first two lines and each section will have five lines per section giving me the five five lines that I need for for the for the five years that I decide to use it so meaning if this starts January 1 it'll be January 1 through 5 and it'll have the five sections skipping the skipping the first two lines and I can use the first line to headline January 1 through 5 January 6 through 10 so that's my plan for this and because it is a 480 page notebook once I have completely filled it out for the 365 days that'll give me about 115 pages to play with in the back and I can tag pictures or quotes or whatever I want to remember in the back of the book and um and add the date to it. I also if I decided to use a standard I thought about purchasing um one of the Hobonichi one of the whole Bonichi grid writing boards. That was another thought. So I may still purchase a grid writing board, but it will be for journaling purposes only. And once I have made this five year notebook, I'll come back and show show you guys what it looks like when I am done with it. Once I have all my lines in place, all of the dates in place, and I think it would benefit me more to just create it myself and create it the way I want it to look. Now, I do have a few 2024 20, planner books that I have decided to purchase, and once they have arrived, I will come back with another video to show those to you guys as well. But this has been j just a video sharing the fact that I am interested in doing the five-year notebook. And I'm going to make my own version of the five-year notebook. And once it's done, I'll come back and with another video and show you guys what I've done. I... It may take, the process of actually making it may take too long to sit and film because that's a lot of, that's going to be a lot of writing to try to get through and film the whole entire process. And maybe I can do one month on video and, um, and just once it's finished, then go ahead on and show you guys the completed process. But this should be fun and save me money on. And I'll have a high quality paper notebook to use as a five-year journal. So I hope you guys liked, 
I hope you guys like this video and until next time, thank you so much for watching.